And what it do is the evil prince. You know what I'm saying? We're going to take over the world soon, ladies and gents. Uh, you know, I have supreme confidence in that. Um, the supreme gang. You know what I'm saying? As we... As you guys keep coming back <laughs> every week, I just want to say it means the world. You know what I'm saying? We've got 30 subscribers plus almost this week, this month, sorry, which is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because literally, I've been posting for like five months now, maybe longer or six, seven. I don't even know. And I think we 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 gained fuck all subscribers during that time. Uh, even though some of my videos got hella views, uh, we had a few videos with like over two thousand views and shit but it was all meaningless because it wasn't where where the supreme gang truly was and now that we found it man i'm just happy bro i just want to say that thank you thank you for being here and watching this video and watching any video the amount of videos that you watch a week i appreciate it if you've subscribed i appreciate you even more than that but the fact that you're here just me is enough for me you know what i'm saying so thank you thank you for that uh, now let's get to it. So we out here on ordinary baby. This chapter is focused highly focused on Eisen again You know what I'm saying Eisen has been the main boy because he's he's the brains of operations He's the guy behind the scenes um, You know discovering and figuring out shit. He's the first person to figure out about John and he is also uh, the first person to To realize how dangerous John is he he really knows his shit and he you know, he, he makes, he's, he's a good journalist. You know what I'm saying? He wants to speak the truth, but also at the same time, he was being threatened by Arlo, who at the time was still trying to figure out what he should do about John. Because he, he truly believes that the strong should reign. Um, so he was like, well, he's the strongest, so he can do whatever he wants. And then he realized, this guy is too unjust, man. You know what I'm saying? And also remember, he lost his mentor. Uh, who didn't believe in the strongest should reign. He believed that people should be nice to each other regardless of strength. You know what I'm saying? And that that was, you know, just it's just something interesting that he, 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 I think is getting in his head now that he actually thinks that maybe there's a balance between his way and his uh, mentor's way. Uh, again, this chapter is mainly focused on, on Eisen, but I just wanted to kind of get that across. Because I felt like this chapter also had a good bit to do with him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, Aizen is, you know, like in the previous chapter, he's in a dilemma where he's like, if I tell people about John, this could put my life on the line. But I can't let people follow John like this. I can't let people just get away, like, do this type of shit and John get away with everything. You know what I'm saying? John is a tyrant. Or, or even beyond that, you can say he's he's not just a tyrant, he's a dictator. You know what I'm saying? He's doing a bunch of crazy things, forcing people to do crazy things. And he just, he's just not a good dude. You know what I'm saying? He really just isn't a good dude. Yes, PTLD. Yes, but we can't keep blaming mental health for the type of fucked up actions John has been, he's been doing. You know what I'm saying? We can't, I know a lot, we have a lot in the unordinary community. We have a lot. Of John sympathizers. I think the majority of the fan base are John sympathizers. But I am not one of those motherfuckers. Fuck John, bro. His actions are deplorable. And I will... I, I, bro, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. That's just how I is. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, it's a, it's, it's, it's good, though, that Eisen is stepping up to the plate as a journalist and as a human being to be like, you know what, I'm going to write this story. Even though Arlo told me not to, I'm going to write this story. And Arlo had told him not to at the time because I think, again, he was... He wasn't, he, he thought that, look, he's the guy in power, in charge, and he doesn't want to be known. He also, he was afraid himself. But now he's over that shit. He's like, I can't have a John being charged. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if I'm not the rightful king anymore. I can't have a John in charge. Fuck all that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so it seems like in an ordinary, John is our villain, at least our first villain. Uh, obviously, I think the main evil is going to be, the villain is going to be Ember. You know what I'm saying? The story is called an ordinary, not John ordinary. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, I'm excited to see how that transpires. Uh, but again, in this chapter, we have, um, you know, Eisen, you know, uh, he, he did the research about the, 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 um, the invisible guy. Uh, cause remember the invisible guy was involved in the whole, uh, power reading thing. And, you know, it, that was actually John's fault because he insisted on, on Ser Serafina, you know, reading, 
uh, getting her power readings. You know what I'm saying? He insisted on that, even though Serafina didn't want to do it. And then he refused to do it himself. So then they targeted Serafina and took Serafina's powers. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of convenient, huh? Like, to me, that just seems kind of fishy. And then, obviously, we have the invisible guy from the mall. Uh, and, you know, he turned somebody else invisible. So they have a classmate or a student that is also, you know, has invisible powers. But he's only like a 2.4. And they were like, how can he make somebody else invisible? That would make him a high tier. Like, that can't be true. At least Aizen talks are like that. But I was like, well, think about it this way. If John could hide himself as a elite tier, this guy could easily hide himself as a low tier, even though he's not. You know what I'm saying? Like, he could easily hide, hide himself as a high tier. Sorry. Um, you know, galloping to be a low tier. That way he gets away with doing stuff like this. You know what I'm saying? And he's really kept his identity a secret. So it's more than likely that he works for Ember. Why he works for Ember, I'd like to know. There's just a lot of details, fine details that I'd like to, to discover along the way. Um, now, in this chapter, Serafina also discovers uh, about, you know, uh, Arlo not doing anything. Because he was like, he's leaving it up to the authorities or whatever. And he's like, and Serafina's like, when have they, the authorities seem to be taking those sweet ass time, nah? When have they done anything? You know what I'm saying? The authorities ain't do shit all this goddamn time. I lost my powers. The authorities ain't been looking at shit. They've been ignoring my calls, all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Leaving it up to authority. If you want to do something, you got to do it your damn self. And he's like, well, I'm not losing anybody else to Ember. And it's like, just who the hell have you lost? Not knowing that he lost his mentor. You know what I'm saying? And that's probably one of the reasons why he's so cautious and he, he works the way he functions. You know what I'm saying? Because he saw the chaos. He saw the, the outcome of, of somebody as powerful as his mentor getting finessed uh, as, a, as a hero. You know what I'm saying? So it's really intricate. The world seems interesting. Right now, it's very confined to this school. And I really can't wait for it to expand throughout the world. Because I feel like the world is very intriguing. And it's something that I'd love to learn more about. Um, but anyway, what did you guys think of the chapter? What did you guys think of the review or my, my thoughts on it? You know what I'm saying? I call it reviews, but I don't even know if I really review. But the discussion or whatever, the thoughts on it, the breakdown, all that shit. What do you guys think? Did you guys enjoy that shit? Because I really liked this chapter. It was really intriguing. I'm looking forward to the next chapter and I'm looking forward to actions being taken. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be really, really fun and interesting to check out. Anyways, it's been your boy Supreme Chia, the God. You know what I'm saying? And hey, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like or a dislike depending on your feelings. And leave a comment if you have any thoughts down below. I'm out.